What is Flutter and what are its advantages over other mobile development frameworks? Flutter is a mobile app SDK that allows developers to create natively compiled applications for mobile, web, and desktop platforms from a single code base. Its advantages over other mobile development frameworks include fast development, hot reload, expressive and flexible widgets, and a rich set of customizable widgets and tools. What is Dart and how does it differ from other programming languages? Dart is an object-oriented programming language developed by Google. It differs from other programming languages in its syntax, which resembles both Java and JavaScript. It also includes features like optional typing, asynchronous programming, and the ability to compile into JavaScript. What are the main widgets used in Flutter, and how do they work? Flutter has a rich set of customizable widgets that developers can use to build their apps. Some of the main widgets include text, row, column, container, and scaffold. These widgets work together to create the user interface of the app, with each widget controlling a specific part of the screen. What is the purpose of the build method in Flutter? The build method is a required method that is used to build the widget tree that makes up the app's user interface. It is called by the framework when the widget is first inserted into the widget tree or when the widget state changes and it returns a widget that describes the user interface for that widget. What is Hot Reload in Flutter and how does it work? Hot Reload is a feature in Flutter that allows developers to make changes to their code while the app is running and see the changes instantly. It works by injecting updated code into the running Dart virtual machine, VM, without the need for a full app restart. What is the difference between Navigator.push and Navigator.push replacement in Flutter? Navigator.push is used to push a new route onto the Navigator stack, while Navigator.push replacement replaces the current route with a new one. In other words, navigator.push creates a new page on top of the previous one, while navigator.push replacement replaces the current page with a new one. What is the purpose of the async keyword in Dart and how is it used in Flutter? The async keyword in Dart is used to mark a function as asynchronous, which means that it may not complete immediately. In Flutter, async functions are commonly used with future and stream objects to perform asynchronous operations, such as fetching data from a server or performing a time-consuming task without blocking the UI thread. How do you manage state in Flutter and what are the best practices for doing so? Flutter provides several options for managing state, including set state, inherited widget, and provider. Best practices for state management in Flutter include separating UI components from business logic, minimizing the use of set state, using immutable data structures, and using stateful widgets judiciously. What is an inherited widget in Flutter and how is it used? An inherited widget in Flutter is a special type of widget that allows data to be passed down the widget tree from parent to child without the need for explicit callbacks or state management. Inherited widgets are commonly used to share data between different parts of an app, such as themes or language settings. What is the purpose of the Media Query widget in Flutter? The Media Query widget is used to get information about the current device's screen size and orientation. This information can be used to make layout decisions and ensure that an app is optimized for different screen sizes. How do you handle user input in Flutter? User input in Flutter is typically handled through callbacks. For example, the onTap callback is commonly used to handle user taps on a widget. Form widgets like text field can also be used to handle user input. What is the purpose of the Future Builder widget in Flutter? The Future Builder widget is used to build a widget tree based on the result of a future. It is commonly used to display data that is being loaded asynchronously, such as from a network request. How do you debug your Flutter code? 
Flutter provides a rich set of debugging tools including the Flutter DevTools, the Flutter Inspector, and the Login Framework. Additionally, print statements and breakpoints can be used for debugging purposes. How do you handle errors in Flutter and what are the best practices for doing so? Errors in Flutter can be handled using try-catch blocks or using the error widget. Best practices include providing informative error messages to users, logging errors for developers to review, and testing error scenarios during development. What is the purpose of the Gesture Detector widget in Flutter? The Gesture Detector widget provides support for handling user gestures like taps, swipes, and drags in a Flutter app. It is used to detect these gestures and trigger corresponding actions. What is the difference between main axis alignment and cross axis alignment in Flutter? The main axis alignment property is used to position widgets vertically within a container, while the cross axis alignment property is used to position widgets horizontally. Both properties are commonly used in the Flutter row and column widgets. How do you handle different screen sizes in Flutter? Flutter provides a media query widget that can be used to query for the current screen size and adjust the layout accordingly. Additionally, the expanded and flexible widgets can be used to create layouts that adapt to different screen sizes. What is the difference between the main.dart and pubspec.yaml files in Flutter? The main.dart file is the entry point for a Flutter app and contains the main function. The pubspec.yaml file is used to manage the app's dependencies and configuration settings, including the app's name and version number. What is the purpose of the Material Design Widget Library in Flutter? The Material Design Widget Library provides a set of pre-built widgets that adhere to the Material Design Guidelines. These widgets are designed to provide a consistent and intuitive user experience for Android users. What is the purpose of the async and await keywords in Dart and Flutter? The async and await keywords are used to handle asynchronous operations in Dart and Flutter. They allow you to write asynchronous code that is more readable and easier to maintain by avoiding callback hell. What is the difference between named and anonymous routes in Flutter? Named routes are routes that have a name and can be navigated to using navigator.pushnamed. Anonymous routes are routes that don't have a name and can only be navigated to using navigator.push. What is Flutter's widget tree and how is it used? The widget tree is a hierarchy of widgets in a Flutter app that are used to describe the user interface. It starts at the root widget and extends down to the individual widgets that make up the UI. What is the difference between stateless widget and stateful widget in Flutter? Stateless widget is a widget that doesn't change over time whereas stateful widget is a widget that can change over time. A stateful widget can be redrawn on the screen in response to events, user interactions, or data changes. What is the purpose of the navigator widget in Flutter? The navigator widget is used to manage a stack of screens or routes in a Flutter app. It allows you to push new screens onto the stack, pop screens off the stack, and replace screens on the stack. What is the purpose of the Layout Builder widget in Flutter? The Layout Builder widget provides information about the constraints that are placed on its child widget by its parent. It can be used to build layouts that respond to changes in the size of their parent widget.